Zoom trends, what's up? Taking the block. <laughs> Rich yeah. Montana is in the building. Yo, what's well, up, man? We can't say he's in the building because he's technically not in the building. He looks like he's on the beach somewhere. Lovely. You see that, trends? It's that West Coast. They said, they said Corona don't exist in 80 plus weather. Nah. So, wh where are you quarantining at? Oh, I'm in Miami right now. So, so you left New York and you went to Miami? Mm hmm. Is that because they say that the virus doesn't survive in warm weather? Yeah. Wow. One million percent. So what have you been doing since this quarantine? And we saw you on Tory Lane's Instagram trends. You were talking about it a little bit earlier. Yeah, I think I think I'd be too like too too humble sometimes. You know, people forget my track record. Nah, listen, man. You did it for New York last night. You did it for New York. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't, they, they forget how many bombs I got. Oh, no, you what, got was Tory, what was Tory Lane thinking going song for song with you? And when, when obviously you have, you're OG at this point, you got such a diverse catalog. I don't know. He, I mean, they, they told me he was going to win. So I was like, I must have been too humble lately. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I had to bring the big to torpedo out. Nah, now you brought the artillery. You had the, you brought the big guns last night. Yeah, we had we had we had Timberland, we had Swiss Beats judging it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the weekend, shout out to Drake, shout out to everybody that was in the building, Meek. You know, so I wanted to like, you know, everybody to be a judge from the new to the old, you know what I'm saying? From the legends to the so we get a fair shot. This as a score was like 16-4 or something. Wow. That's crazy. But I had another 50 clip. What'd you play? What was the first song you played? I ain't worried about none. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. I, I, I ain't worried about none to Shot Caller, to Lockjaw, to No Shopping, to All the Way Up. Then it was just like. Oh I, I should have oh, just yeah, played because we forgot person. about all the features you're on, too. Loyal. Yep. Yeah, Work remix, the, the vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I could have played Unforgettable first and just said Game Over. <laughs> Absolutely. Because you got over how many billion streams is on that record? So 25 million around the world, a billion on every platform, Man. two billion on every platform. Wow. But it was beautiful what y'all did last night, though. Yeah, like You know what it is? That platform is so beautiful because it reminds people of all the hard work that artists put in, whether you're behind the scenes, whether you're in the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of artists want to survive with me last night. And I'm talking about, you know, just because people forget how hard it is to make records. You could drop as many albums as you want. Right. But yeah. to have them, but to have that stadium music where you can put me next to that nigga on the stadium or festival, Coachella, whatever. I guess, you know, being on that Tory Live reminded us of how many joints you got, right? Yeah, I had to. Being quarantined, to. is that one of the one things that you miss the most is performing live with your fans? Hell yeah. You know, especially, you know, going, doing, you know, tours and, you know, just seeing my fans and, and moving around. Yeah. We're about to drop new music now, so quarantine. I was going to ask you, do you drop new music when you can't go outside? Like, like, what do you do? How do you even create it? I mean, you got to get that energy back, especially if somebody like me, when I've been making it for so long, I should be looking for that. Like, for Unforgettable, we went to Africa. Like no stylus, me and Drake got together. That energy is always there. Like I felt like I was in the weird. I felt like I was in the club yesterday with you. Like like I was there. Somebody else said that. That was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I, I remember the I remember the first time we ever played Hot Boy Remix. Yeah. We did do this uptown in the club. Uh huh. Me and you at that day in Washington. And they got leaks from that night. I got all I got all the footage, man. I got all the footage. It got leaked that night. We I gave it to you to play it, and I don't know how that shit got everywhere. But it was a good thing. Trent, Trent, you got something you want to tell us over there? You want to tell us the real story while we quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trent, did you leak something over there? We don't know about. I don't know nothing. Yo. But, yo, but Bobby, but look, they did the real remix with Ti, with Fab, with everybody, and it wasn't bigger than the one you leaked. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trent, come on, come clean, bro. Did you leak that shit? 
Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember that other remix you were talking about just now either. I don't even remember. No, nah, but it was given to you to leak, you heard? <laughs> okay, I leaked it. I leaked it. I leaked it. I'm the leak. Oh my god. Yo, Listen, so you gotta please. leak those things. You have to leak those things. Those things if I didn't leak that, it would have never been that big, yeah. More like but it's it was about the timing. That timing. Perfect timing. Nasty, nasty. And that verse was legendary. What are some of the things you've been stocking on um, since you've been quarantined? Because, you know, people are, like, buying up all the toilet paper and shit. I've been Keeping watching the, the stock towels. market. Real, I've been watching the stock market real quick. Mm. Oh. Because, you know, you know it's because it's, it's, it would be having this ups and downs. They had, like, a little rush. It went up, now it went back down. So I'm just waiting for it where it's looking like it's going to keep going up. What you been and buying? Just, you see the oil? You see oil is down right now? Buying nothing right now. You not you not moving nothing around? Nah. Wow. You playing I'm just, safe? I, fro I, I froze everything until everything start going up. You playing safe, huh? Play better safe than sorry. You heard? <laughs> this, this still ain't got no cure for this. What you mean? <laughs> Yo, not one person came with no cure. Not one person has a cure for this, right? So what's going on? I don't know, man. You can't, you can't buy no medicine for this. It's crazy. You gotta, you gotta stay inside, I guess. You gotta stay Wait. inside, man. Yeah, Nova, uh, Casanova came out with the wrong song at the wrong time. We outside. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got to stay inside. I ain't going to lie. Shout Yo. out to all the, all the doctors out there, though. The real hero. Yeah. yeah. What you been eating? What you been eating in your fridge? What's in your refrigerator? What you been shopping at the stores? Well, we got a chef. Uh huh. We don't trust what they cook out there. Oh wow! Interesting. You know what I'm saying? You know people be coughing all in your food. You get deliveries and all that. You don't know who got corona on the other side. No, like none Just of that. Just shop, like safe. I was gonna say, what you miss most about being outside during this pandemic? It kind of reminded people, you know, that life can get real. You know what I'm saying? And 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 when they come back to reality again, people are gonna be more cautious about the choices they make, about saving up, about doing the right thing. And 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 I think that's this this epidemic is bringing people together. Wake up, yeah. I feel like it's more love now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people is coming together. People is being being heroes. You know what I'm saying? And help, especially with all, all, all the people that's in the medical world. Yeah, but because they like the real heroes. But definitely there's going to be a lot of saving up when, it's come, when this thing is over. Because mm -hmm. as, as the financial things is not, is not even closer to being, you know, at their worst yet. Because so many people are going to be homeless. So many people are going to lose their jobs. So many people are going to be going through that, that phase. You know, so a lot, a lot of people are going to need help. A lot of people got to come to go. I think, the, I think one of the biggest issues is that companies figure out how to uh, operate without the people that, um, that they fired, that they had to fire because of what's going on. And then when they open back up, not, everybody, not everybody's going to get rehired because they don't no. do it without them. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no not at all. This time for great leaders to step up. Yeah. This, these are the moments where I think I, I told people I think Donald Donald Trump is one lucky dude because he's gonna get reelected because of this. You think so? In my opinion, of course, he's the best businessman to ever hit the United States of America. You think, think he's think the best businessman in general, or just the best businessman to ever take take that office? Oh, what stocks, makes you say that? Because the stock's been going up since he's been in office until this thing happened. Interesting. You know, money-wise. I mean, he, he, I mean, he got all type of, you know, people that never done business with the United States to do business together. From the Muslims to the Arabs to the Saudis to Jerusalem to, like, you know, people like that don't do business. It never had happened before. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like that going through this financial crisis about to happen, I feel like they're not going to trust nobody else if they already seen what this man could do. Right. Mm. You know, he, you know, even I'm honestly, I think people are starting to like him. 
Well, I saw a recent poll that said, I forgot what Gallup poll was it, but it said that 65 or 55 percent of Americans thought that he was handling a crisis okay. Personally, yeah. I think he's a flip flopper. You know, he, uh -huh. he he's a he's a flip flopper and a narcissist. Um, and I just want him to be direct in what he's telling the people. But it, it's scary that a lot of people think that you know this guy is handling this thing pretty decent. But it's, de it's decent, but still poor because he should have been more strict about it. Right it was, from the jump, was, he, he didn't was take it freely. serious and, until it was too late. He had shut down the airports, and then they, they didn't do the um, the, you know, the the regular the regular routine that everybody else did from Morocco to 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 Europe. Everything was shut down. You couldn't move. You move Why at a certain time, you get locked up. Why do you think he took so long? Because it's the land of the free, and that's that's and that's the gift and the curse about this 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 situation. You know, in America, you feel like nobody can't tell you nothing. Too much freedom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like stay home. Like we have to really preach that every day to stay home. Like what don't you understand? People, there's 18 wheelers freezes in the back of hospitals with people getting thrown in there like they turkey. Yes, yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Like you really have to show people footage of people dying. Like. For them to, to understand is 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 this crisis out there. I think, um, in general, I think people, the people in general, haven't taken it serious until people around them started getting sick or people started dying. Like every time you open up Instagram, somebody's saying rest in peace to somebody. So now I feel like as like last week wasn't as serious as this week. You know what I'm saying? I, and then there were some people that off the rip were taking it serious. You know what I'm saying? T.T. Why the outside the hospital so long? Outside the hospital, it looked like a Daddy Yankee concert. There's people yeah. lined up. That was bad. And, and that's the thing. You still have some people out here that's not taking it serious. And it's like, what has to happen? Like, do you have to die for you to take it serious? Like, like what can't you comprehend? Like, I was watching a video on um, online and, and on Inside Edition where in California, they were having a block party for a one-year-old, a birthday party. Yeah, and it's mad crazy. people was outside. And I'm crazy. like, yo, and then they're getting mad at the cops and getting aggressive with the cops when they're trying to break it up for their own safety. Like, what part of that don't you comprehend? No, nah, no, nah, it's crazy, man. That's what happens when they the free. You give people too much freedom. They, 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 they abuse that. It's a misconception. Everybody keeps saying that, you know, oh, that um, if you're young, that, that you can't die. Like, you know, nah, your immune system. Yeah, they were saying just the elderly people and the and the um and the baby. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Trans. Nobody have no answers. Nobody. Nobody. Everybody has is giving opinions. I I haven't heard one person that says something that I believed in it because they they like it's crazy. They said the older people die. I know I know old people that survived it. They said young people could die. I seen young people that survived it. I seen somebody that was my age that died from it. You know what I'm saying? This disease right here. It's like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like something I've never seen before. Nobody could predict it. Nobody has ever seen this before. Not even scientists. Nobody. That's what I'm saying. Something and people different. keep trying to tell me. Yeah, people keep trying to tell me and tell us, like, what this shit is. I'm like, you don't know, my brother. Just stay home. Just stay home. Stay protected. Stay home. How did they don't, don't have the medicine, outside. though? This is crazy. Like, this and, is then, and then once they get the medicine, you know how long it's going to take to get it approved and get it tested properly to make sure it works properly? That still Pharmacu takes time. Pharmaceutical people right now is fighting for money. What are you into during this moment? Are you are you watching anything on Netflix? Have you? I, I, oh, wait. I have to ask you about Tiger King. Because if anybody is into <laughs> exotic is animals, the the fucking ass. <laughs> it is you. It is you that's into exotic animals. Those tigers and elephants. Hey, and say, you killed your husband, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's my shit. I love that one. Did you watch it? Yeah, of course. Okay, so what did you think? What did you think about ti uh, Tiger I think he's. I think he's a piece of shit. Yeah. I think everybody in that shit is a piece of shit. And I think that he's so much of a piece of shit that it made you feel bad for him because the other people were so much more pieces of shit than him. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> they all need to be in jail. For real. The Jeff I'm gonna, dude. I'm going to start watching it. I'm going to start watching it today. I'm watching this. I'm going to start today. That Jeff dude, he, 
I don't know what's going how many rollers in there? How many rats in there? <laughs> He said, yeah, you got the you... lion king in the cave. Oh, my. <laughs> Yo, did you think Carol fed her husband to the tigers? Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you crazy? That shit, we're going to solve that. Well, I got to watch. <laughs> oh, okay. Of course, she said, yo, he was, he was about to divorce and he disappeared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That shit, yo, that shit got crazier and crazier every episode. I was just his, like, his mother and his assistant, everybody's telling you that he was about to divorce her and disappear, and they scared to say it because they're scared of her. Yo, is, is there anybody else that you that you would want to see battle in this um on this live thing? Yeah, you know, you know who I want to see battle. You want to see Puff and Dr. Dre. Ooh. Oh wow! Oh. oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good hey, one. Talk about pay per view. That's a oh. good one. Yeah, you somebody, know what I'm saying? Somebody need to call it Dr. Up. Dre. That would be. You gotta make that happen, French. You gotta make that your homie. I know. You know Puff and Dre. You gotta make that happen. Puff and Dr. Oh, who, Dre. Who judges that? Who judges something like that? The person that can judge get... something like that is somebody with like some status. Like you can't have Jay -Z. like no... Yeah, like somebody Jay -Z, like Jay-Z, Snoop. Yeah, you gotta get Jay-Z, Snoop, and like somebody else. Like an OG from that coast. You gotta get the big coast. boy, the legends. OG from that coast, OG from this coast, and somebody from down south. They're just like like mutual. Yeah, like a Jermaine Dupree or somebody. Yeah, like somebody big on that level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even get like somebody like Eminem to judge. Yeah, that would be good. Be fine, you know what I'm saying? Man. Somebody like that. Mm -hmm. That would be, that would be. <laughs> but even, Huge. you know what it is? Even people like 2 chains, like people don't know how many records he got. I would love to see him go head to head with Meek. Ooh. You know or what Young Jeezy. Yeah. Future. Jeezy and Fab. Jeezy and Fab would be good. Jeezy and Ross. Uh, yeah. Ro Ross and Fab. <laughs> nah, Rose got that one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Fab think... got classics. Don't get it twisted. You know what? No, let me take that back. Let me take that back. I don't know. I don't know. Because Fab got a catalog. Fab got yeah, a catalog. Because people might be sleeping on him like they slept on me, so I'll take that exactly. back. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'll take that back. Exactly. I ain't gonna well, lie. Well, tonight they got T Pain and um and, and Scott Storch, so I'm 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 about to watch that. I oh, that's gonna be interesting. Scott Storch and T Pain. I thought it was, and Scott Storch doing something else too. He going with somebody else. Scott Storch must have a lot of records because he's doing many fresh tonight. That's what I saw. <laughs> Scott Storch. But Scott Storch do got a lot of records. Remember, he had let's make it rain. Make it rain. Like that, he got a lot of records. Scott Storch. Yeah, he, he, era, he had every record on the radio, every number one record on Billboard. And he did a lot for a lot of people. He did, you yeah. know, that still, still Dre. Yep. Yeah. All the, a lot of the Wayne going. stuff. Lean back. Once yep. you hear that, it's over. That's a wrap. Certain records gotta be worth five records, like in like in the competition, yeah. like, yeah, like, absolutely. like certain joints just can't compete with. Yeah, absolutely. I want to stop the Dre though, that gin and juice that. Oh yeah. That puff going, that puff going, puff going with victory and the. And that's the a classic. Gonna be crazy. Let me try and make that happen. Exactly. We gonna on that note, we gonna let you go so you can get to work. We love uh, you. I love y'all, New York. Enjoy Thanks for hanging out with us. Hey, love y'all.